way fellow collectors and YouTubers. Nanny D back with a little review of my two repainted um, quarter scale NECA Predators. Um, a couple of guys asked me to uh, show them a little bit closer and show the details so uh, you can have it. Um, I just want to mention, uh, have you seen the uh, latest announcement of uh, the new Hot Toys Samurai Predator? God, what an awesome figure. For me, this is like the ultimate collectible because I'm a huge Predator fan, I'm a huge Samurai in Japanese culture fan. I've been doing martial arts all my life, so for me, that's like a, a combination of all cool things in one figure. So really looking forward to get that one hopefully next week and I'm gonna do a cool review. So let's get back to the NECA figures. Um, the NECA Predator has been released last year, 2011, I think in April. And um, let me tell you, this is actually the best representation of the uh, movie accurate Predator to date. I think it's more accurate and uh, better sculpted than the Hot Toys Predator, the classic Predator. Uh, the likeness to the uh, monster is better. Um, the only thing that actually is not as good as that from Hot Toys is of course the paint application. But then again, the NECA figure quarter scale, you know, paid only I think $80 or something, which is uh, absolutely amazing for what you get. So I have repainted the head just to make it look more movie accurate. As you see the inside of the mouth, the mandibles, the fangs, the eyes, here the forehead. I mean the original application, paint application is okay. But uh, since I've been a professional figure painter, you know, I just uh, couldn't look at that original paint job, so I had to repaint it myself. Also, dreadlocks have been repainted a little bit. Um, I also added a couple of dots here on the side just to, you know, fade in and look at more, make it more look like a lizard skin texture. Um, the bones, the trophies have been repainted. Give it just a more natural and realistic look. And um, the armor, the original paint is just like plain silver, and uh, I wanted it to have some more kind of battle damage, like burned and faded metal, you know, like it's been in a real laser gun fight or something. That's the masked version. Here you also see the, uh, you know, all these details, all the black spots and rusty spots and stuff. It looks so much better um, with the repainted helmet. Um, it's just like right out of the movie. Also here, yeah, all the shading. I have to say, the, uh, the body paint app, the original body paint app is really good. Um, I didn't have to, um, you know, repaint the body itself, just added a couple of details, but overall it's a really, really good paint, original paint, so NECA did an excellent job. See all the dark shading, highlighting. You know, also added these uh, straps, just like it's been shown in the movie.
Backside is also cool. It's very nice, detailed. So I'm really looking forward and very excited to see the uh, the Hot Toys quarter scale Predator because they announced to release the original Predator and also the Predator 2 sometime 2013. So I hope the wait is going to be over soon. He added also the skull. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, so that's basically it with my two repainted Mecha Predators. Hope you like it and uh, see you around. Bye-bye.